Doug, what up? Welcome to College Football today at Rockfin. I've uh, been lost the last couple months. I've been like shuffling around, studying, really digging deep into college football recruiting and you know, visiting different cities and meeting different people of different colors, races, genders, all over the place. And it's been fun. But I've been lacking content for a reason. Because I landed in South Georgia and I realized as I'm going through my recruit rankings, I was mind boggling how many kids were actually from South Georgia. I call one right down the street, Lee County ball and quarterback Christopher Martin. Lee County's balling to go in the playoffs. They're playing Valdosta this Friday. So I'm probably going to go make a trip out, possibly to the Valdosta game, but I definitely want to cover the Georgia State playoffs and do like a 2 4 7 thing here on Rockfin. Uh, not my first time at the rodeo. I actually did this in 2016, 17, I think, for uh, in Colorado for Pueblo High School on Facebook. So it actually went really well. I had thousands of viewers and college coaches checking out the players. It actually helped with recruiting. I had thousands, not thousands, but a lot of college coaches bombarding the high school afterwards they were state champions three years in a row at Pueblo High School so I'm going to start this back up we're going to go visit uh, some of these schools locally and check out some uh, Georgia high school football playoffs now pre rankings taking a little longer than expected because I'm linking in each kid's huddle account uh, I believe that's very important for recruiting process uh, for college coaches it's very easy they can just go down the list and click uh, there's not any ads popping up left and right. Um, you got some ESPN stuff, ESPN Plus stuff that I support because they supported me. They uh, partnered with me a couple years ago. Last year, I forget. Uh, if you ever tried Synergy Energy, it's, it's amazing. It's all the charge. It gives you a lot of uh, good gut and intestine stuff that we need as athletes. Uh, what are they called? Anyway, it's really good, and uh, I like to support Cross Culture Church. I got my hat on. I've been going to church, uh, supporting Cross Culture Church. is very unique. It's very different. Um, gonna clean up a little bit. Got a lot of clothes that came in uh, from multiple brands. Uh, every different brand in in America today. Um, this is a Nike golf shirt. I started golfing again, doing golf videos. Um, I believe golf is very important for football players to learn if they make it to the NFL and have the money to play golf. <laughs> but, listen, this is about the Georgia High School State Playoffs, Lee County, Georgia. Um, my dad will be traveling with me, uh, Dave Trout. I actually, he's in the other room. I came here to visit him because he's, he's a missionary bush pilot uh, in Bolivia. He used to play for the Pittsburgh Steelers, UFL Stars, puts airplanes together build one practically and fly it which is pretty amazing to me it takes all there's all these little pieces and stuff it's really cool so making this introductory video really on the fly here as i'm ranking the football recruits uh i'm just going to release them all at once i'm not uh gonna i might release some you know in chunks here shortly in 2024 for the top 300 I've added a lot of new kids, a lot of great football players. Um, and then I was looking at Caleb Turner out of Tennessee today in Knoxville. I was looking at uh, Ted Hammond today um, out of uh, St. Xavier. New kid, uh, doesn't have a lot of traction or views on his photo, but he's like 6'6", 250, deadlifts 550, uh, DN tight end, uh, same school as uh, the quarterback. He's in, I think he's the next Brett Favre. Uh, Google top 2022 quarterback recruits and you'll find him. There's a lot of great quarterbacks on there on scout trial. Very excited for college football now to pick up this time of year because if you Google 2021 Heisman watch list, it's getting a ridiculous amount of traction and there's not much on there yet, but I'm going to start breaking down the Heisman Trophy. Uh, I know Bryce Young is having a phenomenal season out of matter of day. He's a top 2019 quarterback recruit. He's at the University of Alabama. Set by Mac Jones, I believe, last year. Yes. And really, 
phenomenal, learned a lot, very, um, very sound quarterback from what I hear and can scramble. Watching, well, I've been watching some games here and there, but I've really am letting the AP coaches poll and uh, ESPN football power rankings decide the college football now rankings to an algorithm I created that will be decided with our college football playoff committee and they're going to get added in and it's going to go up with our college football now rankings and if there's tiebreakers it's going to come down to college football now and that final decision which will be made by a film and the eye test as you will see if you google CFB playoff football no the college football playoff rankings formula it's first on google on college football now uh, i had to once again quickly create college football today it got deleted last year uh the website so we put that together really fast and uh it's coming together nicely it'll be updated fully this week and i'm uh, looking forward to covering the georgia high school football playoffs um a lot of different stuff going on uh this year in college football today really um you're going to hear a lot about it in a very short period of time. Uh, very excited about covering Georgia High School football playoffs, but also releasing the top 24 football recruits and writing about some of the great players like Wyatt Potter's having a phenomenal season. Moved from running back to linebacker out of Overland, Kansas. Uh, St. Uh, Thomas Aquinas High School. Very, like, Phenomenal under the radar player right now in Kansas. Uh, moved from running back to linebacker, like I said, and it's just lighting people up. Giovanni Mazzell was looking to him today. Uh, ran a 4 3 at the Rivals Combine, was offered, has six offers now. Pitts offered. Uh, I think Arkansas has a lot of, a lot of teams offered. And Kalen Gray out of, um, out of Utah. Struggling with the school right now, but he's, he also was looking to him today. Phenomenal tight end wide receiver prospect. Uh, got a, a lot of young guys coming up that I'm very excited about. Magnus and Law. Um, a ton of players I've been looking at today. I have just started going through uh, updating the huddle links. And if you had new step rating stuff, Terrell Townsend filled his out. Well, some other guys filled theirs out. It was updated right away. Uh, Terrell Townsend, great outside. Uh, he can play outside receiver, wing back, slot back, running back. Uh, he's playing some defensive back. Phenomenal, phenomenal player uh, out of Rehoboth, Alabama. Very excited about him. I'm going to be testing this out here in South Georgia with the interviews and full coverage. Like I said, I'm going to clean up. Clean up the beer a little bit. Ooh, I ain't got in the air. Uh, <laughs> I was very excited about uh, Nike. So, and then this nice shirt and a bun and then I got an outfit after a new outfit to wear for these uh, new videos and high school football coverage that we're going to be doing here at College Football Today and have a lot of things to cover very excited about the future of these young prospects uh, and then we're jumping after 2024 we're jumping right 23, 22 uh, going to be covering those players in this area as well uh, through video analysis and as well as in person um actually going to games which i literally have done in the past but things really when it came down to the rankings it was all done through video analysis so youtube and huddle um whatever new videos that were available um because that's what most of the college coaches coaches are looking at um some will attend games but we'll visit prospects fly in the fields i heard in helicopters uh, Florida State is really hard on Chris Martin right now. He visited recently. I believe they landed the chopper at the field. This uh, seen in one of his tweets. Going to be excited to cover and meet the rest of the Lee County High School football, uh, Georgia football team, players, coaches, staff, hopefully, uh, and really get to cover the game. Just like, you know, they do it at the, at the big boys, 247 sports and all the rivals and stuff like that. And I didn't mean like that facetiously. Just met and they've been, uh, you know, around for a while. And I learned a lot actually from their websites and, and do respect a lot of their like Rusty Manziel. I follow him on Twitter on College Report today. Um, he actually read to I retweeted he, Christopher Martin is really heating up uh, on recruiting trails and names starting to buzz. 
So we're gonna we're gonna make it buzz even more here uh, in the next couple of weeks here. Uh, they are at Valdosta. We were talking about going down there. It's about an hour and a half away from where I'm at right now in South Georgia. I'm really very close to Lee County, and they're going to probably most likely host a home playoff game, and I will definitely be at that game um, for sure because I want to see Coach Martin under pressure, under heat, um, in, a, in a game that actually really matters as a, as a sophomore. So it's going to be fun to see him. Uh, he really is, was amazing as a freshman, so it's going to be really interesting to see him uh, in person Hopefully get to interview him and go from there. I'm making more videos, like I said. Shout out to Cross Culture Church. Shout out to Mikey. Shout out to uh, Synergy for uh, providing uh, Myra's Produce uh, for providing. No, I mean, no, no, I don't do that either. Myra's Produce for providing all the food. Uh, recently, though, this has been off the charts. Uh, definitely put on some weight, but I'm working out a lot. Working on technique, working on new things, new tricks. Um, it's been a different year. Still been a very successful year in my book. Uh, been watching, just haven't been on social media as much due to other issues that uh, have arose that are over now. That are uh, that were fun in a way, but at the same time very. Uh, it was a test. Let's put it that way. It was a very hard test to pass, but. Hopefully I passed it. I really don't know yet. It's just been uh, one test after another, and I'm very excited about it. Very, uh, it is what it is. It was it was interesting. Watched Tom Brady the other day. Bears been watching a lot of NFL action. We're gonna be doing the NFL draft again on um, on Scott Trout. Very excited about that after the season's over, and uh, really staying on the recruiting rankings and everything like that now. Uh, that's what matters the most this time of year. Seasons are ending, playoffs are starting. This is when recruiting really starts to heat up. After the, you know, the college football teams are done playing, they really start to hit the recruiting trail. And uh, this is when things need to get done. And I'm very excited about, like I said, each and every one of the prospects on the list. That uh, that a lot of them found through Twitter. Uh, a lot of new guys that aren't on two four seven or rivals. Um, out of you know different areas of America that really aren't recruited that heavily, you know shout out to Rockfin. I've uh, been watching a lot of videos really on politics. Uh, very inspirational, very motivational, very inspiring. Uh, very happy to be a part of Rockfin, and they're they've supplied. You know they supply the right tokens. They supply the money. So I'm gonna make videos and post on there. Maybe put some start doing some YouTube as well. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But also I'm gonna start breaking down videos, talking. It's quicker. It's easier. It's more efficient than writing novels like I used to. I am gonna still write. Uh, I am gonna still put some reports together and puts a lot of content together that way. But more video action. I think it's gonna go well. Thanks for tuning in for College Football and Everything. Thanks for subscribing to the subscribers uh, that we had uh, the last few weeks, the last few months. Uh, people have stayed subscribed. I uh, have some special gifts for you. You know, videos, uh, different things like that. Um, once again, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being a part of College Football and Everything. Uh, I'm going to record the videos because... I'm also going to go live on Facebook if you haven't uh, got on the Scout Trout business page. We're going to go live from there and use that video as the live feed. Uh, I'm trying to figure out this live feed on Rockfin. Uh, I'm trying to go live on here as well and start to get to work on college football today, recruit rankings, and covering the Georgia High School football playoffs, which are going to be very exciting. And there's a, little, there's a ton of top football recruits that are going to be part of it. Hopefully, maybe start getting down to Florida and the that other areas of America, uh, thinking about hitting the trail all over the country and really getting to know the players personally. I think that's a big deal. I think it goes a long way, and i uh, very excited for that on the recruiting trail for Scout Trout Elite and College Football Day. God bless. Take care.
Kokosh, but it, Kurafik.